Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything about ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking, as always, a question I found here in the, in the ROS answers forum which is this one. We are going to check it now, but before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy in the video description. So now let's start with the video. I'm going to close this. And as I've said, we are going to be checking this question, uh, which is cannot uh, cannot able to rotate turtles in. Hi everyone, I am trying to write simple code to rotate turtles in robot with the following code, but it is not working with double values. Let me explain it. I wrote this code to move straight and rotate. And he shares here a code. And the move function works okay, but in the rotate functions I have problems. Then he says, I wrote parameters by myself, it worked well, for example, this code works well, but when I try to make a conversion like a move code, the read radian and rotate function fails. The rotate function is in below. Here we have the rotate function, so yeah, let's have a look at this. Let's create a, a test for this. So let me create here a new project in RDS as always. So rotate QA. Let's create it in a uh, Gazebo 7 with Rust Kinetic. Uh, yeah, let's go. So let's open this project and wait a few seconds until the whole environment loads. Okay, so here we are, great. Let's open a shell. Let's open an ID as well, here. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a package. So let's create a package, which I'm going to call rotate QA, for instance, and rossipp since the user is using uh, RossCPP for his, for his code. So, yeah. Now I have my package here in the Catkin workspace. And I'm going to create here a new file, rotate CPP. And I'm going to paste here his code, basically. So let's copy all this and paste it here. And this is the main and also the rotate function, which is the one giving problems. So let's also copy this here and here. Okay, let's correct this. There we go. Okay, so now let's remove everything we don't want. So we are going to test the rotation part, which is the one that is failing. So I'm going to remove all this, which is the, the moving forward. And I'm going to leave just the rotation part, which is here. Okay, so yeah, basically he is demanding an angular speed in degrees to the user, a desired angle in degrees as well, and then he is converting this to radians. Yeah, and he also asks for if he wants to rotate clockwise or not. Then he calls to the rotate function, passing the angular speed, the angle, and the, co and the clockwise, which are doubles, and uh, clockwise is a bool variable. And then uh, inside here, uh, okay. So yeah, here he's doing a while loop where he's publishing the velocity messages, which are taken from here, from the angular speed. And then he checks the current angle, and if the current angle is less than the desired angle, it keeps moving. When the current angle is equal or higher to the desired angle, then the robot will stop. Here it's publishing a zero, so that it stops rotating. Okay, so it looks nice, let's test it. Let's uh, let's add some things here. Let's debug it a little bit. In fact, 
I'm putting here degrees. And this is also in degrees. Okay. And this is a true or false. True, false. Okay, uh, and then here is asking something else. No. Okay, so I'm going to add here some 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 prints also some some C outs so that I can debug this be better. So for instance, uh, let me catch here. I have some pieces of code to speed this up. So I'm going to use here the string stream, which is. Okay, this stream is, is included here, so I will be able to use it. Now let's declare it here, for instance. And then here I'm going to put one. Let me, oops, sorry. Let me get this here. So here I'm putting one to check the angular speed in radians if the conversion is correct. Yeah. So here uh, the user will introduce it in degrees and then here he is doing the conversion and saving this into the angular speed variable. Then here I will print this variable to check that the conversion is done correctly. And I'm going to, going to do the same with the desired rectangle. So here, uh, let's put here angle in radians, it's angle. Yeah, it's this variable here. Angle, so let's print this and finally let me as well put some more here. I don't know, for instance, here let's check the current angle and the desired angle. So the current angle and desired angle. So to see how this is progressing. So current angle, which is current angle and uh, the desired angle. Okay, so here, well, I will need to <coughs> to declare this as well here. Let's put it here, for instance. Okay, great. So let me now compile this. <coughs> so in the build section here. Let me add the CMake commands here. So the code is rotate CPP, this is okay. Okay, so this will generate my rotate node, my executable, if everything is okay. So yeah, let's compile this and see what happens. So let me compile, cut can make. Meanwhile, I'm going to start a simulation as well because we will need a simulation in order to test this program. And now that I'm thinking of the simulation, okay, now I, I will check this. Because probably I will need to change another thing in the code. Okay, so this is starting to compile. Here it's starting the simulation. I'm launching that Dr. Bot simulation. Okay, so this has compiled it, excellent. And the simulation is also launched. So let's hide here the logs. And here we have the simulation with our turtle bot. And now, if I do a raw topic list here, uh, I can see that the, ro the topic in order to move the robot is the command bell topic. So here I will change this starter one command bell for just command bell. And yeah, so let's test this code here. And um, rotate QA and rotate node. There we are. So enter angular speed. Okay, so let's set an angular speed of 60 degrees, for instance, which is one radian, more or less. Okay, this is right. 
and for the angle, let's say 90 degrees, which is 1.57 uh, radians, which is also okay, half p, more or less, and finally clockwise, let's say true. And then uh, this robot should start rotating clockwise 90 degrees. So let's see if this happens. It's not happening. Okay. So let's see why this is not happening. Yeah, the current angle, the, the current angle is progressing, but the robot is not moving. Why? Oh, of course, because I have I have changed uh, the topic and I haven't compiled it. <laughs> okay, silly mistake. This is when you are used to work with Python. You forget about uh, how to compile. Okay, so let's uh, make let's source this and let's run again our code. Okay, so let's again uh, put 60 degrees, 90 degrees for the angle, and let's see here, true. And the robot, as you can see, moves 90 degrees, and when it has surpassed it, actually it has turned more, this is, uh, the current angle is 1.67 radians, and the desired one was 1.57. But as soon as the function detects that the current angle is higher than the desired one, it stops the robot, as you can see. So let's... Anyways, it has gone not in the clock in clockwise, but anti-clockwise, because clockwise would be turned to the right. Let's... Let's try again the same, but in... And not clockwise. And now probably we'll go to the right. Okay, so it is still turning to the left. Okay, this is probably some bug in the code. So, yeah, anyways, this seems like it's working, more or less okay. But uh, I have tested before the code, and I have detected uh, one thing that is not working. So first of all, let me check this, okay. So here, okay, let's put a print here to debug this, because here is where we are setting the velocity. So let's put here a speed, angular speed in rats, yeah, so vel message angular z okay so let's we need to compile this again so let's compile it source and uh, run there we are okay so 60 90 True. Okay, so if we say to rotate clockwise, the angular velocity, the angular speed is one positive, as you can see here. Angular speed. Also here. So the angular speed is one positive. And if I say false, the velocity is still one positive, yeah? So can you see this? So here we have a book. So the robot is turning, but it's turning always in the same direction. But also, there is another book. So because if I don't enter a, a angular speed of 60 degrees, for instance, I enter 40 degrees, which is 0 0.69 in radians, and I put again a, a 90 degrees turn. Now what happens? Let's check the robot when I execute this. The robot is not moving. Can you see that? 
So the robot is not moving. Can you guess why this is happening? Let's try it again. So for instance, I enter 50, which equals to a 0 0.87 angular speed in radians, a 90 degrees turn, and uh, true. So as you can see, the robot, in this case, it's not turning. And why is this? Well, let's check here our speed. So the angular speed is zero, yeah? And why it's zero? Well, this is because of this, uh, hope this is done, with this apps uh, method, absolute method. So this, if we put an apps of uh, 1.5, this will return an, an integer value. So in this case, it will re re return a one. But if I enter, a 0 0.5, this will return a 0, yes? So whenever the angular speed is under 1, is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, whatever, our, this, our angular speed will be set to 0, so the robot won't move, yeah? Then let's change this, so let's take this out. Let's remove this, and here we are going to do the same. Okay, so let's again compile this. Let's source, and let's try again our code. So now, if I enter a velocity of 50, for instance, which is under 1, it's 0 0.8, and an angle of 90, let's say this uh, is true, then um, let's execute this. So as you can see, now the robot actually moves. So the, the angular speed, let's find it, the angular speed is 0 0.87222, which is the one we have set it, yeah? So it's not uh, converted to a zero. Should be somewhere here. Okay, here we have it. Yeah. And it has turned to the left for the true. So let me try one thing. I know, and uh, I think I know what it could be. Forty-five. Uh, one. Let's try like this. Okay, there we are, yeah. Now we get the negative, yeah. This is also an error because I usually work on Python. Okay, so yeah, so now it is working. You can enter uh, any angular speed you want, any angle you want, 180 for instance, and make it rotate uh, clockwise or not, as you want. But, yeah, so basically the code is working. There were just a confusion here, an error here, a book in your code here, uh, because you were using this ABS, so all the angular speeds below 1, so 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, etc., all were converted to 0, so the, uh, the, your robot was not moving. So that's basically the the book that I have detected in your code. And yeah, so... I hope you have liked the video, I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, please give us a like, uh, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel. We are publishing new videos every day. So yeah, goodbye and see you in the next video.